In this tutorial, we will learn what is the difference between SQL and NoSQL. This is a kind of prerequisite before you learn uh, MongoDB. The first thing which we are going to learn, what is a SQL? So SQL is nothing but structured query language. And this is one of the way to deal with the relational database. When I say relational database, a database in which uh, the records are uh, arranged in the form of uh, what do you say we have the columns and uh, the the rows so they are arranged in the forms of columns and the rows if we have to fetch some data from that particular table that we use uh, query and if you have to uh, to insert we use the insert and then correspondingly we can uh, uh, can have the update and uh, delete statement which can update delete insert and query the records from the database uh, uh, database so there are several RABMS uh, so some of them are MySQL Oracle MS SQL Sybase etc and we use SQL to access the database we'll see a small demo here and we will query uh, the database what is no SQL so no SQL stands for not only SQL or not SQL. That means NoSQL database is a database which has uh, the data is uh, either non-structured or semi-structured or unstructured or it may be polymorphic data uh, as compared to the the SQL database wherein the uh, data is arranged in the forms of the table. Uh, so they they are known as the relational database when the data is not arranged or there is no such uh, kind of uh, relationship we say it is a non-relational database management system and one of the best thing in no sql database is there is no defined schema that means you can change the uh, uh, the the way the data is uh, inserted next time or there is no such predefined algorithm and this is good when you have the large data store and no sql is very very good when you have uh, uh, what do you say the uh, let me use the arrow option okay so let me use uh, okay so no sql is good when it is a big data or real time web applications and where is the no sql used it is used on the uh, on twitter uh, facebook or uh, uh, wherever the data which is generated is in terabytes every hour or what do you say uh, every day there we have to use no sql because uh, the amount of the database data is not structured as compared to the structured environment there is a key difference between relational and non-relational database so when you say relational database we are saying SQL database is non-relational so it is no SQL so in relational database data is stored in the form of tables that is it has rows and columns but when we say non-relational database it is document based like your uh, uh, MongoDB you have a key value pair in case of a a relational database if you need to increase the capacity you have to go vertically that means let's say as of now my database which is uh, uh, MySQL it is installed in my laptop app and if I have to scale it uh, what, what I should do is I should either increase the RAM or the CPU and, and the storage but when it, it is no relational database I can add uh, 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 what do you say the more nodes so that is known as horizontal scaling so let's say as of now I have uh, my database MongoDB installed on my laptop so I keep on adding multiple laptops of uh, uh, low capacity and this will be uh, scalable so vertically scalable that means you keep on adding the hardware on the same server or same host up to which it is allowed horizontal you can add uh, uh, more nodes and it will increase the capacity CPU RAM and everything on on the defined cluster in case of a uh, relational database it is predefined schema let's say I have a department table with the two column one is department ID and another is department name so 
tomorrow my uh, requirement changes and if I want one more column with the uh, with department address I cannot do it with the relational database because I have already defined the schema like it should have two columns with the, uh, with the kind of data it will uh, it will use but in case of non relational database if I go with the NoSQL database it is dynamic schema I can add multiple columns in the next record or it is it is something like that Relational database use the good hardware, uh, which is good for the better performance because we have you you tend to grow uh, vertically. But in case of non-relational database, you can go with the commodity hardware. This is generic difference between SQL and NoSQL. What, so we'll start with what is SQL. So SQL is used for RDBMS database, relational database management system, wherein data is stored in the form of tables and there is a relation between multiple tables. But when we say NoSQL, it is a it is uh, known as non-relational or distributed database. That means there is no uh, concept of uh, rows and columns and there is nothing like table. Uh, the name is replaced something which is known as collection. We will see uh, later. What kind of language do we use to access the data which is there in an RDBMS table? So we use SQL query language. You can query, you can insert, update, delete. Uh, in case of NoSQL, there is no such declarative query language. So there are the way we, we do all the operation, but it is not simple as compared to SQL. In case of relational database, data is stored in the form of tables, but in case of NoSQL database, it is known as doc, uh, collection. Inside the collection, each record is known as document, where we have a key value pair. In case of relational database, uh, there is a predefined uh, schema. That means there is a column name and uh, column uh, data is defined, but in case of NoSQL, there is nothing like a static schema. That means you can define according to your uh, requirement. It's, uh, it's about the scalability. Let's say tomorrow there is a requirement to scale my environment. So I have to go up. That means on my system, I have to add more CPU, RAM or the storage. But when it is NoSQL, you can go horizontally. You can add more nodes. So why uh, RDBMS or SQL is good for? It is good when you have the complex queries, but when it is uh, non-RDBMS, it is not good for complex query because there is nothing like joins and other things. Hierarchical data, that means uh, uh, one data and then sub data, it is not suitable for the hierarchical data. When we talk about non-relational database, it is good for the hierarchical data. If you talk about when this uh, SQL was originated, it uh, originated early uh, before the invention of NoSQL. So it was somewhere in uh, 70s and uh, NoSQL came into picture in late uh, 2000s because there were some kind of limitations with SQL database. So NoSQL came into the picture. If we talk about the licensing, SQL has both open source and uh, and uh, commercial, and uh, it is a mixture of both. And it is it is uh, when we talk about the open source, we have some of the good databases also available like Postgre, MySQL, etc. And commercial, you have uh, big players like Oracle, MS SQL, etc. No SQL database, most of them stand for the open source. You use it for free. Consistency, when we talk about the SQL database or the relation database, it is strong consistency. That's why they are, they are the market player. When we talk about non-relational database, we don't want that kind of strong consistency like, or if, if there is some kind of eventual consistency like uh, required then there is some uh, Cassandra is available or if if you want some kind of uh, consistency then MongoDB is available there is generic difference between SQL and no SQL further so if we talk about why it is used for it is used for so the relational database is used for asset uh, wherever you need the atomicity consistency integrity and uh, for those things you need uh, the uh, the relational database and when you talk about NoSQL database very 
availability is more important than it is uh, it is good uh, over there why this is best for so sql database is best for the data validity if you need the consistent data very there there should not be any kind of uh, what do you say the uh, the diverse i mean uh, you want the consistent then you have to go with the sql when we want the data to to be faster than the you go for the no sql sql rdbms supports the uh, dynamic qu query but uh, th th that's a problem over here uh, the storage requirement you need good storage which are high performing but in case of no sql you can go with the commodity uh, the cheap storage as well so there is something called as uh, asset versus base model so your relation or sql database supports asset model which says atomicity consistency isolation and durability but in case of NoSQL, it, it is known as base. So it is basically available soft state, eventually consistent. So that's the major difference between SQL and NoSQL. So in very simple words, if your data availability is more uh, uh, availability and accuracy, if you want more accuracy, you go with the SQL and otherwise it is NoSQL. And there are uh, other parameters as well. So that's, uh, uh, that is what it acid and base stands for so acid is for your uh, uh, your uh, relational database so you have atomicity consistency isolation and durability and uh, your non-relational database is it, it is like basically available soft state eventually consistent so i i don't want it to be very consistent that's that's fine but it, i want it to be more available so you go with this so now when to choose no sql so when native rdbms is not enough like uh, i i have a dynamic uh, schema requirement then i have to go with this when asset property is not required i don't want a consistent data i want it highly available then i can go for this if i want a flexible schema then you have to go with the no sql constraints and validation logics are not required which is a must in your or that is good to have in your relational database logging database uh, data from distributed uh, sources so this is good uh, you use NoSQL, so it should be used to store temporary data like uh, shopping cart or wish list or session wherein I don't want it to be uh, like 100% accurate but I, it should be available highly available when shall we choose a relational database or SQL? SQL is the easiest language to communicate with the RDBMS. So it can analyze the behavior related with the customized sessions. You can build customized dashboards. It allows you to store and get data from database quickly. Preferred when you want to use multiple tables and join them. Now the last thing in this is, so which database is right for your business? So the best way is to determine which database is right for your business is to analyze what do you want. So it is like SQL is good for any organization that will benefit from a predefined structure and uh, schema. Let's say I want to a table with the two columns that is defined, then I should go for the SQL particularly if they require multi-row transactions. If it is happening at the row level, then it is good you go with the SQL databases. It is also a good option if all the database must be consistent without leaving room for error, any kind of error like the computing database. So this database is right for your business. This is a continuation for NoSQL. Where should we use it? So NoSQL is a good choice for those companies experiencing the rapid growth and there is no defined schema requirement. So you can go with this. So no, uh, NoSQL offers much more flexibility than a relational database. And it is a good option for those database the companies which has large, uh, what do you say, the large data which is coming on from several sources. And let me go through a small demo. Uh, it's not a kind of def demo. So, so this is uh, this is what you say. Uh, my RDBMS, uh, sorry, the SQL database. This is MySQL Workbench, which is a GUI tool. So, uh, so the data is available in the form of tables. So if I just execute it, you can see I have two column department number 
and department name so uh, everything is predefined like uh, this will be the format or the this many character or strings will be available and this is this is the way we work in relational database and the same thing if we do in non relational database the two columns let's say i created a database uh, employees i created uh, i created a uh, table is not uh, there is nothing like table in NoSQL database. So this is MongoDB, which is uh, non-relational or NoSQL database. So I created a collection which is equivalent to table, and then I inserted many rows. So in the first, this is known as key, and this is the value. This is the key. This is the value. That means I am creating. Uh, department number D001, D002, D003, the way I had in my relational database. Then I created three department names, marketing, finance, human resource. But if I wanted to have multiple things, like if I wanted to have location also added, then email ID or phone number also, then those things are not possible here because the, the schema is already defined. It is defined like you can have only two columns, but in case of no SQL database like this, I can have anything, whatever I want. This is highly flexible. This is cheap and there are a lot of features you have a base model available over here here you have assets so depending upon what kind of requirement you have you can choose between no relational or relational database so there's a MongoDB uh, GUI um, tool you which you can see this is known as NoSQL booster for MongoDB this is a, a free version and, uh, and and this is good to have it. So uh, so just to summarize, so we saw uh, the difference between NoSQL and SQL database, and uh, we saw an example of a table in 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 SQL database and a collection in NoSQL database. I hope it is going to help. And uh, thanks for watching.